Uh, I'm Marcelo Tisler. I'm a senior advisor at uh, at Kit. Uh, and at Kit, I'm uh, mostly working with uh, impact evaluations. I have a background in economics, and I joined this project as a, as a methods uh, and quantitative expert to give uh, support to the to the studies that were a little bit more technical. And uh, for me, it was a very interesting. Uh, uh, process because I, I don't have a, a background in, uh, in anthropology or in, in, in gender so it was also a very strong learning uh, uh, adventure uh, to, to get all this, uh, these new nuances uh, combined with, uh, with the knowledge that I had so I, I worked in a, in a few projects and I was particularly a little bit more in, in, in touch with the projects from uh, Catherine and, uh, and from Mark uh, which I saw them uh, both trying to answer similar overarching uh, questions uh, but from a very different uh, perspective. So, uh, for example, Catherine was looking a lot in uh, how can you use secondary data that was actually not uh, collected with the purpose of gender analysis uh, and make this a general analysis out of that. Uh, while uh, Mark was trying to see how can I shape a, a survey and a questionnaire where I do collect primary data to incorporate this gender disaggregated uh, data and make some uh, interesting uh, answers, uh, get some interesting answers from that. And in, in both cases, was also nice because they uh, they want to see how you can get policy relevant uh, uh, questions and answers out of that. And, uh, and I learned also a lot from things from them, from their experiences, their, uh, what they were doing, what they were looking at, the techniques, uh, um, and also from the other colleagues from KIT that were, that were really in the project as the gender experts. So I was seeing all the detail and the complexities uh, in, this whole, uh, in this whole process. So um, for me, it was, it was very interesting, and I, I also hope I could guide them in this in this question so we had a lot of debates for example with Catherine about uh, factor analysis versus cluster analysis versus principal component analysis and uh, with Mark in, uh, in uh, how the, the some of the questions were being rolled out and how it could actually uh, interpret and uh, and uh, bring the data so um, yeah all, the, all this thing was, was quite interesting and and, and it's really it, uh, it was also really good to uh, to see uh, the the people so I had the chance to meet with uh, Catherine twice and I think really the face to face adds a lot of the to the process because uh, for some of the other people we had more Skype interactions and uh, that's fine you can get a lot into the table when you actually sit in the same uh, uh, room in the same place you get a lot more of the nuances and you can get a lot quicker in the details and exchange ideas and, and I think it's a very nice uh, process.